Welcome back to the Ping Pong Flicks, my name is Chris Wong. So for people who went to watch the Black Adam movie, or even looked at the leaked end credit scene of Henry Cavill showing up as Superman, was quite taken aback that he is definitely back. And because that served as like a little announcement of his return, Henry Cavill did say that he chose the Man of Steel suit. But apparently he also chose the theme as well. As you know, in the end credit scene, you do hear the iconic John Williams score. Henry Cavill had to say this to Cinema Blend. John Williams' theme song is obviously incredibly important to the character. It's something which resonates with the character and everything time I think anyone in the world hears that. I think a large portion of the world who hears that will recognize it immediately as Superman and feel a certain way about it. I do think it's wonderful. But in the same breath, he also mentioned the Hans Zimmer score. But at the same time, equally so, I think Hans Zimmer's Man of Steel score was just as wonderful. I have incredible, powerful feelings about that because I remember watching the trailer. The first teasers comes out and I was sitting there with my friend and we were both so excited about it and the way the score plays. Both are incredibly powerful in their own way and both are just as iconic for the character. It was such a pleasure to be back in the suit. Whether it be John Williams or whether it be Hans Zimmer, they're both extraordinary, extraordinary artists. So in my mind, I just felt like he wanted to show the Man of Steel suit, but with the John Williams score saying that he is the Superman of this generation in a way that general audiences recognizes the symbol and recognizes the song. But I do think that when the time comes and the Superman sequel does come out, I believe he won't just be the John Williams score. I'm pretty sure that it'll probably be more of the Man of Steel score or maybe even something new. Who knows? But it looks like Henry Cavill's focus is really on Superman, as he went on live with Kelly and Ryan to talk about how much Superman means to him. I definitely feel a kinship. Uh, towards Superman. I've lived in his shoes for a lot longer than Sherlock yeah. mm -hmm. um, and it's been a formative part of my life and, and career. Uh, so I, I feel a closeness to him. I also feel a closeness to Sherlock but not to the same degree. And with that respect it does feel like he's freeing up his schedule to become Superman as it was breaking news that Liam Hemsworth is replacing Henry Cavill for The Witcher Season 4. Because originally The Witcher was supposed to shoot back to back Season 3 and Season 4, but looks like Henry Cavill is giving up Season 4. But this is what Henry Cavill had to say. Some news to share from the continent. My journey as Gerald of Rivia has been filled with both monsters and adventures and alas, I will be laying down my medallion and my swords for Season 4. In my stead, the fantastic Mr. Liam Hemsworth will be taking up the mantle of the white wolf as with the greatest of literary characters i pass the torch with reverence for the time spent embodying gerald and enthusiasm to see liam's take on this most fascinating and nuanced of men liam good sir this character is such a wonderful depth to him enjoy diving in and seeing what you can find and so a lot of people are saying this is because he wants to go all in on superman and it could be that warner brothers discovery tossed a lot of coin to henry cavill because they want to fast track that Superman movie. And as you know, James Gunn, who is going to be the co-head of DC Studios for the creative side, has already name dropped Superman first, meaning that it will be DC Studios' goal to get Superman first. So with that being said, they definitely need a director. And recent conversation online talked about a few directors and some scoopers even said they already know who's going to direct Man of Steel 2. The first director that comes to mind would definitely be Zack Snyder himself. Zack Snyder was the one that brought Henry Cavill in for Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, and Zack Snyder's Justice League. There was that post where he did say that Henry Cavill Superman is the past and present and future Superman. And that little bit from that message to Cavill. That's my question. Um, I can't wait to work with you in the future. And you are, of course, the greatest Superman. Could it be that he will return to direct the sequel to Man of Steel with Henry Cavill? If that were the case, he sort of has a Man of Steel 2 in mind. Previously, he had said we talked about a Brainiac movie, but I do think that the Kryptonians that are in the Phantom Zone are probably still around, and there was always a possibility for their return. For Aura and whoever's left, that was a thing that was always out there and we talked about as is a possible sequel. I just think it's best to give Superman these extraterrestrial challenges because I think you've got to be careful with, other than Lex Luthor, because of course, you have 
have to continue with Lex because Lex is his real nemesis. But I think you really have to look outside of the Earth for challenges for him because of how powerful he is. Which definitely could be a way to take the Man of Steel sequel, have Superman not only fight Brainiac, but also the rest of the Kryptonians that were stuck in the Phantom Zone. But a few years ago, it was also revealed that Christopher McQuarrie was actually looking into a Superman sequel as well as he did work with Henry Cavill in the Mission Impossible and they also talked a lot about what that Superman sequel could be. Back in 2019 he said that Green Lantern was a written proposal and he pitched a Superman but Warner Brothers at that time said no and Christopher McQuarrie says too complicated to explain, it tied into the Superman movie that Cavill and I were proposing, no takers. The studios have never cared for my original ideas, they prefer that I fix their broken ones. He also added that they never said no, they just never moved on it. This was just before Fallout was released, and no, I would not reconsider, there's too many other things I want to do. And when some people ask if he would come back and ask again, he said this, I asked once, I will never ask again. They have their own problems and I sympathize deeply, but after 25 years of hearing no, even an idiot like me gets the message. I go where I'm valued. Which doesn't mean that maybe in the near future they could come and revisit him again. As apparently, according to The Hollywood Reporter, he is on top of their wish list, so there could be a Christopher McQuarrie directed Superman in the future. Who knows? But some scoopers are leaning in a different direction. Scooper My Time to Shine Hello says that Gunn directing the new Superman movie is very likely now. Which recently we know that James Gunn is going to be the co-head of DC Studios, but he has also revealed that he's not just going to be the head of DC Studios, he will also get to direct some movies. Is one of those movies Superman though? In the past when someone asked him if he would direct a Superman, Batman, or a Wonder Woman movie, he said, I would and have chosen to do none of them. I'm much more drawn to taking less popular characters and telling their stories. Although that tweet has already been deleted, so he may have changed his mind. And it does seem like James Gunn realizes that not all the characters should be like Peacemaker or the Suicide Squad. In fact, he was heavily involved in the movie Brightburn, which is a very much a rated R horror movie that's kind of like a serious parody to Man of Steel. But seeing that James Gunn and Zack Snyder are longtime friends, James Gunn wants to let you know that he has the utmost respect for Zack Snyder. Audience, colon. Man, Zack Snyder's MOS was so dark. James Gunn. Hold my beer, Zack <laughs> Snyder. I really am a big fan of Zack's uh, Man of Steel, and uh, Zack and I have been friends for a long time, so I would never have Zack Snyder hold my beer. We would share a beer together. I agree, with two and straws. And then people would get angry, because I'm a recovering alcoholic. <laughs> So if the next Superman would be directed by James Gunn, I'm kind of sure that he may even bring in Zack Snyder to help him out. But another scooper by the name of Look Upon the Stars actually threw in another name. With this coded tweet of a bird, a plane, Superman? And a gif is of the Fantastic Beast, which was directed by David Yates. David Yates, who is mostly known for Harry Potter Order of the Phoenix and the Harry Potter Deathly Hollows, Part 1 and Part 2, but he's also very much known for the new Fantastic Beasts trilogy. And even though that rumor is going around right now, it just seems like a pretty safe bet for something that Warner Brothers Discovery would do. Get a director that's already at Warner Brothers and has already been making films for Warner Brothers. Meaning, is he actually going to leave the wizarding world and now jumping into the world of superheroes of Superman? That could quite be a possibility as well. But whoever jumps in to be the director of Superman, it does clearly show that Henry Cavill will have a say in the character and the story from here on forward. What do you envision? What is your ideal future for this character? Is it Man of Steel 2? Is it a TV series? What is it, Henry? Right now, uh, I can't really talk about anything. What I do want is hope, optimism, and joy. Those three things are essential for the character. 
Well, what do you think about Henry Cavill going from The Witcher to possibly more Superman and the rumored directors that are being talked about right now? Or who do you think is best fit to direct Superman? Share your thoughts in the comments down below.